Don't call it a comeback. We've been here for years. Wet n Wild, Las Vegas' original water park is better than ever. Slide into the locals' choice for fun, sun, and beating the heat. So whether you want to chill, watch one of our dive-in movies every Friday and Saturday, try one of our amazing slides, or swim with an actual mermaid, we've got you covered. And don't forget to check out our Twilight Admission. General admission tickets are now 35% off after 4 p.m. Wet n Wild, Las Vegas. We are summer. Go. Um... Good morning, everybody. Jim Feist and Hank Goldberg here in Las Vegas. Good morning, Hank. Hey, Jim. How you doing? I'm doing good. The uh, British Open is interesting. Um, very interesting. I love watching this stuff, and it's so different. That kind of golf. I used to play a lot of golf. I was never very good, but I like to play. Um, but it's. I've never played on a golf course that looks like that. <laughs> I guess i got to go to Europe. But... Uh, What's uh, what's uh, there aren't too many like there aren't too many links courses in Las Vegas. <laughs> no, <laughs> probably not many in the United States. I doubt. There are a couple. But um, some of these, they get into the bushes in the rough. I mean, they're down in the. It, it's unbelievable. It's a totally different kind of golf than what we play here in the states. So what's well, the, there are some courses in the New York area that are links courses. That are pretty tough. Where they uh, sometimes play the U.S. Open or the PGA. Yeah, there's that one course, and I can't remember the name of it. Something Black. Um, they Black play, Page. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. That looks that very tough golf course. I don't know if it's a link course, but it's a tough golf course. Very tough. Long too. It's close to it. Yeah. So what's going on today uh, in this weekend? Well, the uh, races in New York at Saratoga were canceled tomorrow uh, because of the extreme heat. So uh, uh, they're postponing tomorrow's card uh, until Sunday. Uh, But the uh, big race in New Jersey is on the mom. It's a Haskell. uh, And that'll be conducted tomorrow as scheduled. (coughs) And uh, it's uh, they only got seven horses for that. And... uh, the uh, people who uh, who have uh, maximum security say that if their horse runs well, they'll go ahead and move him on to the Travers next month at Saratoga. But we'll see what he does. I talked to Dale Romans about his horse, Everfast, who ran second in the in the Preakness, and uh, he said that there's a lot of speed in the race, and his horse is the closer, and he thinks this horse is going to run well, and he's uh, ten to one or better. And I think if you're going to try to make money in a horse in a race, you got to use him somewhere in your top three. Uh, if, they, if the favorites run one, two, it's not going to be a great betting race. And, uh, and Del Mar just opened up a couple of days ago. And yeah. That's a, and uh, Jerry Hollendorfer is suing them. Yeah, I saw a lawsuit because uh, they... Uh, his assistant trainer is uh, running his horses there, and in fact, he uh, won the stakes yesterday. Oh, really? So, wow. He still has a good barn of horses, and uh, his assistant's name is Ward, and the horses are running in his name now. Oh, okay. That's very interesting. We'll have to see what happens with the lawsuit. I saw it got postponed to the 26th or something like that. For a decision, but um, um, are you heading down to Del Mar, aren't you? Yeah, next month. Okay, cool. How long is that meet down there? Uh, it's the same as Saratoga. They both go to Labor Day. Okay. And the Yankees uh, did a doubleheader sweep yesterday on their uh, their nemesis, the Tampa Bay. Uh, that probably knocks them out of the. Winning that division, Tampa's going to have to worry about getting a wild card now. But uh, uh, Well, the Yankees are running away with that division. And the Red Sox are, are not doing very well. And neither is Tampa Bay. No. Um, you know, they, they beat Tampa Bay's ace yesterday. And uh, the Yankees are just, uh, you know, they're getting healthy now, too. So uh, they're going to be impossible to catch. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see see the postseason and how the Yankees do there. But uh, right now, that division is, it looks like it's over with. 
I, I would say that, barring a miracle, the Yankees got that. I mean, it's a long way to go, but and crazy things happen. But the Yankees just look way too good for anybody there. Um, well, they've got pitching, and they've got they've got everything. <clears throat> they have depth. They've got a good defensive team. Uh, their bullpen is holding up right now. Uh, there's no weakness on the team. They've gone out and made some deals to get the strength in the lineup and get further further depth. Of, uh, their farm system has really produced for them. And, uh, you know, they've got a tremendous defensive infield and outfield. <clears throat> and there's not a weakness on the club right now. And they can hit all they positions. They sure can. You got a couple other teams that have been doing very well. Washington, the Angels playing well. Um, for... Well, the Angels are. Uh, um, they are. I, I, they're having a tough uh, couple of days, um, and uh, they're getting beat right now a little bit with the team they're playing. Washington is very strong, and uh, they're beating up on everybody they play, and. Yeah, you know, they got. Uh, they look like they're they're ready to go far. They're doing well. Yeah, they are. This is going to be an interesting weekend. Uh, Verlander goes against Miner today. Miner is a pretty good young pitcher, uh, but uh, Verlander has been a monster. Sixty-one wins on the year for Houston. Um, that's that's a. <laughs> I mean, Houston's got you know they're they're in a dogfight there too, but but that's a that's a st very strong baseball team. Cleveland's been running pretty well. They go up against Kansas City today. Um, Tampa, we talked about Tampa. They got um, McKay going against the White Sox today. The big favorite, two forty open down to two twenty now, but that's a that's a big price. But he's pitched very very well. In the limited action that he's had so far, no, I'm not laying that big price. No, me either. <laughs> uh, I, I I rarely lay over 150 on a on a baseball price. I, I <laughs> well, if you're laying runs, uh, you're doing pretty well because the teams that are um, you know with their top pitchers are doing well with the runs lines this year. That's true. Yeah. A lot of people will go out there and they'll lay runs with, with like a Verlander or, you know, some some of these big prices. Um, a lot less juice. Uh, well, you just have to watch out for the teams who don't have strong bullpens. You know, when you lay into runs, the risk you run is when the pitchers go seven innings and these push-button managers take them out after a certain number of pitches. And... Uh, it was like, you know, San Francisco yesterday. Uh, their guy was removed after nine innings, uh, and he didn't want to come out. <clears throat> and he was pitching very well. And they, they're saying he may be on the trade block, but San Francisco is starting to make a little bit of a run. <clears throat> anyway, they wound up winning the game in 12 innings. Yeah, that's... Um Interesting today that the Grom is pitching there and um, going against <clears throat> Beatty. Well, the Mets had Syndergaard going yesterday. Right. Um, and the Dodgers have Rio going, and he's been very hot. They got 64 wins on the year. Extremely good, good season they have going on as well. Uh, good, we're getting down to the races. I don't know if the Yankees will be in a race. It seems like, like you said, they're walking away with it. But uh, they better I mean, not... The Yankees are gone. I mean, they're like a horse that you know <laughs> has a 15-lane lead going in the stretch. I think the problem with, with something like that would be, Hank, correct me if you think I'm wrong, is they get complacent, they get a little lackadaisical because they've got such a long way. I mean, we're only in July. And uh, they're running they, away. They got a, yeah, they've got a lot of young players on that team who aren't going to get that way. You know, they're out to win all the time. Their manager is, uh, is, is uh, not lax. They've got a good pitching coach. They've got everything on that team. And they are a lot, 
And you know what? They're playing for money. Players are playing for contracts. Well, that's true. Um, you got any surprises coming out of the British Open? You see any of these um, these players that hit some guys yesterday with big scores? Rory, Tagger, Duvall. Um, or Rory's uh, Rory, I don't think is making the cut. No, and Tagger probably won't either. He didn't. He's already out. <laughs> okay, that's. Uh, I don't know why people keep going to the window and betting on Tagger. I mean. He's totally not the guy he used to be, and yeah, the miracle at the Masters, but that's, I don't know, they keep putting money on him. Well, he wasn't right physically this week. Uh, he was having difficulty, he wasn't playing, uh, you know, he made a little bit of a run, uh, but he, he started today six over, uh, you know, Mickelson is not having a good tournament either, he's out, uh, well, you know, a lot of guys are... I, I don't know what Rory is. I think Rory was playing later today. But he starts uh, at about uh, seven over. And uh, I think that the cut line is going to be at, at one one or two over. So uh, those guys are all going to be eliminated. Yeah, it's pretty pretty amazing that you have all these big names in, in big trouble. Um, but Tiger's, uh, Tiger was having trouble with his putting game. He actually, uh, today, was hitting the ball decently, and he was getting on the greens in regulation. He couldn't sink a putt. Uh, yesterday, when he was playing, he looked like he was he was hurting quite a bit. He, had, he was kind of stiff, and it's damp and cold and windy over there. Well, that's the other thing. And that, when it's cold weather, his back acts up a little bit. So he doesn't have a chance. Mm-hmm. The temperature has mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it's very chilly there. It's right on the water. I've never been over there, but it looks beautiful. Uh, uh, anything else you want to, you want to cover today? I know you're kind of tied up right big now. Fight, big fight tomorrow. Pacquiao's fighting tomorrow. He's a big name. Uh, and that, that should draw a big audience. And... Uh, you know, other than that, you know, the, uh, there's a good stakes race at Del Mar on Sunday. And uh, although the, they've been, uh, I, I thought the uh, fields would be a little bigger at Del Mar than they have been. Some of the races are filling. And uh, Saratoga is, has uh, not had any rich, real attractive stakes races. They've been running like five and six horse fields. In uh, kind of a disappointing meet so far, and uh, not real great betting races. As far as me, you know, you've had a lot of horses who have been one to five shots uh, going off. Mama has a good card today, or uh, tomorrow rather, uh, for their Asco Bay. They've got uh, three or four major stakes races, and it is going to be hot there, so it's going to be a factor. Yeah, let's hope the heat doesn't uh, cause problems, health problems, or otherwise in these races. It's amazing how hot it. It's really an unusual weather year. But uh, yeah, let's, let's yeah, yeah that... well, you can't tell our president that he doesn't <laughs> believe that this weather uh, and in uh, this so uh, this weather business that's going on. But it's definitely different from what it used to be, whether he wants to believe it or not. I guess he'll never get a job as a weatherman when his day is president. <laughs> uh, that would be quite comical to see that. Uh, <laughs> very good line. And the, uh, and, uh, the other thing is uh, football camps are opening. Uh, they started yesterday. And, uh, you know, the first preseason. The season's actually just 50 days away. And uh, the preseason starts uh, on the first. Yeah, in the preseason games, I know you and I, Hank, been doing this a long time, and you're not betting on the teams, you're betting on the information, who wants to win, who wants to play, how much they... Uh, yeah, but I, I've i been doing work on these teams, and I think that, uh, I think the most interesting race could be between Kansas City and San Diego. And, you know, one of the uh, public preseason publications uh, did a real good job in discussing San Diego, 
and said, Street and Smith, they're always very reliable with the people who work on that publication. If you're looking for preseason information that's reliable, one of the facts factors that they made is one that I made on our show uh, a few weeks ago, and that is they have a tremendous coaching staff there. They have a, as good a coaching staff as far as offensive and defensive coordinators are concerned, as you'll find. And that could be a factor. What do you, when you compare the two teams, in your opinion, what do you think of the two defenses? I like San Diego's defense. They've got, uh, you know, uh, you know, they're going to be healthy, and, and and if they're healthy, they're better. No comparison. I agree. You know, they got Kansas City lost a couple of their key guys uh, who uh, who were not on, back on the roster this year. San Diego's got tremendous outside pass rush. They've really improved their secondary. San Diego's loaded on both sides of the ball. Yeah, they are, and 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 um, they got a quality quarterback that can that can deliver. Um, it's they're capable of them being very dangerous. I was listening to a podcast yesterday, and someone was saying that they believe Denver is is a is a team that. And I don't think you agree with this. That it's a team that's quite dangerous in that division. I don't believe it at all. Not with Flacco at quarterback. Big mistake. They can't seem for a guy who was a quarter great quarterback keeps making mistakes. Flacco is no good. They can't win with him. Period. Okay. Well, that's like I said. I I knew you had a difference of opinion. That's why I wanted to bring it out. Um, they got a decent defense. And how far away is Oakland from being a quality but they, team? I tell you, the positive is they, they changed coaches. They had a horrible coach for the last couple of years. Oh, Oakland oh, is very oh, far away. Oh, yeah. Oakland, yeah, the Denver, they had a they really had a bad coaching situation. They're, they're definitely upgraded to the coaching area. I agree with that. And in Oakland, I don't know what Oakland's doing. I mean, they have a, they got rid of some some players early, and then they signed a couple of people later that just have been trouble for many years. I'm not re- quite sure what John Gruden's plan is out there. Well, they, now they've got problems with the offensive line. Uh, you know, Richie Incognito is already suspended for a couple of games. <laughs> they had to go out and sign some guy off the street who's going to start the season at guard. Uh, that's no good. Um, you know, defensively, of course, everybody knows what they've given up there. Uh, they did draft a very good running back. Their running game is going to be improved. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, they've got a long way to go before they're going to uh, be a strong contender. Their wide receiver game, they've upgraded their receivers, that's for sure. But uh, the quarterbacks kind of find all themselves himself under a lot of pressure and uh you know they don't have a defense that's going to be able to contend if you put a number on it what do you think their win total would be for the year in your opinion seven well, seven I, at best yeah i would i would i would i would bet under seven and, and but um yeah I, I think they're a year away from doing anything maybe two Anyway, Hank, I know you're busy. Um, everybody go to jimfeist.com for Hank's plays, horses, sports, and mine as well. Um, Hank, anything else before we sign off? Minnesota. Minnesota what? That's it, Minnesota. Minnesota. We're talking football, I take it. Yes. Okay. Well, I agree. The, the Vikings are very yeah, solid not, team. I don't know about women's basketball. <laughs> well, you could be talking about baseball, too. They have a team. Yeah, that's true. They're not bad, either. <laughs> no, they're but, not uh, bad. But, but uh, I think they're very strong football-wise. They have, a, they have a solid team. Two years ago, they were extremely solid. Last year, a little bit off. Uh, I'm I'm not looking for a big year from Green Bay. That's just my opinion. Um, the Bears are going to be tough. 
But, uh, you know, I think that maybe there might be a little bit uh, more quality in Detroit than we're used to seeing. They have a pretty solid coaching staff, and um, they might they might cause a few more problems and maybe be the third best team, maybe even the second best team in that division. I hear that every year. <laughs> yeah, it has been a lot of years. Quarterback but, always fails them. Yeah. Most overrated quarterback in football. Really? Maybe. In St- Stafford? Yep. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, he can't he, he can't deliver in the red zone. Stafford, I think, is uh, you know he he uh, he's he always seems to fail him in the clutch. And they keep saying, well, it was the problems with the offensive coordinator uh, that they had before, and uh, I just I just don't think Stafford has the goods. All right, well, we will see. Hank, thank you very much. We'll talk again on Monday. Okay. Thanks, Hank. Have a good weekend. Jim. Here it comes again. Lunch. Will it be the same old, same old? Or are you ready to take a vacation from the ordinary with the new Jamaican Jerk Turkey Sub at Firehouse Subs? Freshly sliced smoked turkey breast, craveably sweet mustard sauce, and a hint of Caribbean seasoning. Just $5.55 for a medium. Save time. Order the new Jamaican Jerk Turkey Sub on the Firehouse Subs app. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. Participating locations, limited time only, plus tax. Prices may vary for delivery. Here it comes again. Lunch. Will it be the same old, same old? Or are you ready to take a vacation from the ordinary with the new Jamaican Jerk Turkey Sub at Firehouse Subs? Freshly sliced smoked turkey breast, craveably sweet mustard sauce, and a hint of Caribbean seasoning. Just $5.55 for a medium. Save time. Order the new Jamaican Jerk Turkey Sub on the Firehouse Subs app. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. Participating locations. Limited time only, plus tax. Prices may vary for delivery.